morning. Good morning, man. What's happening? What's happening, dude? Hey, kids. Got the team with you. Got the team with me today. Got the team with yeah. me. Yeah. It is a beautiful sunny day in South Carolina. Where are you going, man? We're going to North Myrtle Beach. Okay. We are spring uh, break. Spring break yeah. looks a little bit different. You good, know, back good. In the day, back in the day, spring break was just like a full week of just chaoticness. Now we got a little bit of some organization. I uh, got these two recruits with me. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it'll be more fulfilling for sure. It will be. It will be. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you uh, taking over because uh, I'm going to play a little Mike Cashner role today and uh, drive in a car or ride in a car while uh, you lead the show this morning, this wonderful Monday. Good deal. Good deal. Sounds good. All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, as you can see, Brock and I did a little switcheroo. He's uh, on his way down south, kind of, sort of, south, east, spring break. And um, so, so I'm going to do the Monday. Hopefully I can get you guys started well. Um, uh, I usually, I try to put a lot of time in these and, and figure out, you know, I don't like to wing it. I like for it to be real meaningful and for it to have an impact. And um, so it took me a while on this one, took me a while, but man, it's crazy how things work out. It just lines right up with my signature message, who I am, what I'm doing. And uh, we're gonna jump back into having, go from a middle-class mindset to a world-class mindset. And that is something that you can control. Your mindset is something that you can control. And so um, there, there'll be some action steps here at the end. But uh, anyway, I just want to say good morning to you. I'm excited about uh, another week. I had a great Easter. I hope everybody else had a good Easter. Um, man, what a time. I see all these posts on Facebook with their families. Um, I saw a lot of posts just reminding everyone of what the real reason for Easter is. And man, I'm telling you, that just empowers me, dude. That that that's empowering to me. And um, so a lot of us, you know, we a lot of times we just have that mindset that woe is me, but we can walk in that resurrection that Jesus has done. And, and that's what we want to do. That's what God wants for us. So anyway, I'm excited to be here. Hello, Facebook world. Hello, Zoom. Um, again, man, I'm trying to get the Brock intro down and I just, golly. Anyway, I'm just glad to be here, guys. I'm going to be me. All right. I'm going to be me. All right. So let's talk about this. What are you working for? That's This is going to be the question for you. And I want you to be honest. I want you to internalize this. I want you to really listen to understand and not shut me off. Because it's very, very, very important because us entrepreneurs, we get on this wheel and we get on this routine and we're just so human doings. Sometimes we're not the human beings, right? We just get caught up in the action and the action and the action. But let me ask you a question. Again, this is the difference between middle class and world class. What are you working for? What are you working for? Are you working for money? Or are you working for fulfillment? Are you working for money or are you working for fulfillment? Does anybody know the difference between a vocation and an occupation. Anybody, anybody, anybody. All right. I have one. And that's because I can see his, his physical hand. Tell us, Colin, what's the difference, my man? One's a calling and one's a job. 
Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? I didn't even know the difference because I never looked into the difference until about two years ago that it was brought to my attention. All right. Because then I was seeking it because I actually was missing something. And that's what I'm trying to do. Every time I talk, I just want you to open your mind a little bit. Just open your mind and look at things differently. Vocation is a calling. Occupation is a means to make money. Can they both be the same thing? Absolutely. But can you do what you're called to do and then have your vocation, I mean, your occupation fund that like an intentional congruence? And honestly, that's what it should be. If it is both together, man, that's awesome. But if it's not, is your occupation provision for your vision? All right. So when you, the rich say this, I, I actually, um, Steve Seabold is, is a guy who studied a lot of millionaires and rich people. He actually dropped out of college and said, man, this ain't teaching me nothing. I'm just going to go and I'm going to interview a bunch of millionaires and ask them how they did it. And so he's put together a bunch of different things. And, and one of the things that he says is when your sole purpose of making money, if that's what you're working for and that's your sole purpose, that's the worst strategy for building wealth. It's the worst strategy for building wealth. The world class will go through an extensive introspection and really, really, really do some self, you know, introspection, marinating, trying to figure out what is very highly profitable and highly enjoyable to them. What is their calling? What are they good at? And how can they help other people? All right. And once they discover what they love to do and combine it with their unique talents and abilities that God gave you, man, it's unstoppable. Not only in, in your profession or your vocation or your occupation, but in your life. It's fulfilling. And so many different people want different things out of life, but I think we can all say at the very end of the day, every one of us would love to end the day with some peace. And when I say peace, sure, we want peace, but I'm talking about peace in knowing that you're doing what you're called to do. And you're making an impact. That's fulfilling. That fulfillment gives me peace. So Bill Gove, he was considered the father of professional speaking industry. And he said, when you're doing what you love to do, the only reward you need is the experience of doing it. So I'm going to read that one more time. When you're doing something you love to do, the only reward you need is the experience of doing it. When you love what you do and you're good at it, the world will make you rich. Guys, that's fulfillment. That is fulfillment. So I want you to ask yourself, when you got into whatever business you're in, a lot of us or a lot of you guys are in real estate, some mortgages, um, various different things. What and how did you get into this? Were you seeking profit potential? Or were you seeking fulfillment potential? Because here's the deal. I'm in the financial business, right? And I love it. But I was empty inside. 
Y'all have all, most of you've always heard or have heard my story. But I think you can be in a space and really niche down. And I don't know if Stephanie's on here or not, and I'm not going to blabber business, Stephanie Sellers, but you can niche down. You can niche down in your industry and use that platform to help somebody that you're supposed to. She had a heart for helping older people, the elder, elderly community. Me, I have a heart and a calling to help people like me. The ones that was lost, the ones that were seeking survival instead of manifesting their dreams. So I want to help the entrepreneur that is the human doing and just feels like they ain't getting nowhere. And they're missing that structure. They're missing that key thing. And with me, that's the alignment. Because I'll be honest with you. My calling is to live an integrated life. I feel God has called me to a marketplace ministry. That's why you hear me spitting off about my faith all the time. If you hear family, if you hear finances, you're going to hear about my faith. It's just what I'm called to do, and I love it. I'm fulfilled. That's that's what fulfills me. That's my calling. That's what God called me to do. But I was so I was doing this the whole time, trying to control it, trying to control it, trying to control it. No, I don't think you want to do that. We can't. We can't put those two things together. No, we can't do that. But when I let go, man, that's exactly what God was calling me to is to live an integrated life. So even with my clients and my prospects, they're going to hear, I'm not pushing it on them. I'm not pushing it on them. That's, that's, that's on you. But I tell you what it did in my life. And that's my fulfillment. And that's my purpose. My past can help somebody else's future, hopefully. So once you find what you're good at, and you couple that with, with uh, what you enjoy. You invest all your heart and soul into it. You'll be, re you'll be rewarded with uncommon wealth. And that's internally and externally. I truly believe that, 100%. So I want to ask you a question. Right now, if we're honest with ourselves, are you seeking survival? And we'll get not, I'm just going to put it out there because some of you need to hear this. You know that I'm talking to you. Maybe not everybody, but there could be one or two people on here and you're just seeking survival. How am I going to make it? How am I going to make it? You don't have any space in your mind, in your heart. There's no margin in your life to even take a deep breath and think about dreaming because you're just dreaming of surviving. That's what this group, man, that th this is that's what's special about this group. We want to help people take their next level. Sometimes you have to admit that you need help sometimes. Sometimes you have to put your ego down, humble yourself. And ask for help, man. We're all human. We're all human. You know, that's one of the biggest things that entrepreneurs and business people face is just fear. Fear of admitting that they're struggling. But I'm telling you, sometimes you're struggling just to because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. When you do get your alignment right with your purpose and your vocation and what you're called to do, your assignment becomes very, very, very clear. And the more you pursue that, the more fulfillment 
you will experience. I'm telling you guys, it's, uh, you know, 47 years old. Had a good childhood, successful in many different areas. I'm talking to me. I'm talking to the Chad Freeze out there because that's me. And that's what I want for people. That's why I'm so yayed up on this stuff, man. I was missing it the whole time because I was so busy doing what I thought I was supposed to be doing. And I was totally ignoring what I was called to be doing. But when you live inside out, and you've got a peace that you just can't explain. And you have fulfillment overflowing. And you, you, you hug your kids just a little bit tighter. And it ain't just in passing. Have a good day. It's not just routine talk. Man, that's a game changer. And that's, that's, that's what I want for people. And that is what I'm called to do. And all I can do is share my story. So, again, just think about these things. Everybody, again, you've heard me say it a million times. Everybody's created on purpose for a purpose. I believe that with every ounce of my being. Sometimes we just have to take responsibility that we are right here. This is who we are. We can't do nothing about the past. But why don't, what if we just shifted our mindset? Every good, bad, and ugly thing that ever happened to us brought me to where I am right now. Now, what am I going to do with that? How can I help other people? How did I get through that bad thing? How did I get through that tough situation? When you start helping other people, that's one way that you start living a fulfilled life. All right, oh, man, for the first time, I am, uh, I'm wrapping up here. I mean, it's getting close now. It's getting close. But when you... Just just think about your relationship with money as it stands right now. Is it your source? Or is it a resource? And if you know, you know. Isn't that what they say? I can't even spell it. I can't even do the initials. I... Why, K, if you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say. If you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say, right? What I'm saying is if you go to bed at night thinking about money and when's that next check going to come in and you wake up just wishing that was a dream, but that's just who, where you're at in life, that's a source. That is your source. But money should be a resource because when that happens, now it's income for an impact to make an impact, income to make an impact. It's provision for your vision. It's a whole different ball game. And money just starts coming to you because you're doing what you're called to do. All right, guys, that's really about all I have. I think I really just would ask you, you know, on a scale to, of, of one to five, one to seven, whatever you want to make it, are you doing what you're called to be doing? And if you're not, why not? It doesn't have to be occupation and vocation, but you should have a vocation that is being provided by, by your occupation. So speaking is mine, helping other people. Yeah, I do the financial stuff. But I'm 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 out here just really telling people a different way to look at money and a different way to to shift their mindset. 
wake up wake snap out of it snap out of it you can control it and let me just tell you i'll go the extra mile if you guys want to call me if you guys want to call me and just go a little bit deeper on what the heck are you talking about how do you get on here all gee, 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 gee. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm happy. I'm 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 truly happy because I'm called, I'm doing what I'm called to do. And that's what I want for people, man. That's what I want for people. So if you're out there and you want to talk to me, I will be glad to talk to you. We can uh we can just talk about things, see where you're at, but just just know up front. Just know up front. It's all of, that's what that's that's what we're gonna talk about. Are you in line? Are you pursuing your alignment with who you're called to be? All right. That's all I got, guys. That was short and sweet. Brock, you got anything, boss? He said no. He said thanks, brother. Anybody got something? Anybody got something you want to come on and talk to me about? All righty. All right. Colin, thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me look at these comments down here. Thanks, Chad. Thank you. Thank y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I hope y'all have a great week. I'm going to give y'all an early dismissal. Don't you like it when you went, used to go to class and you'd say, hey, I get out early today. Well, y'all get out early today. So y'all go get to work. Y'all think about what you're doing. Are you are you are you doing what you love? All right, that's your homework. Are you doing what you love? Are you doing what you're called to do? Are you in a vocation or occupation? And just think about that, man. Think about, am I, am I living a purpose-driven life? Okay, I promise you, you'll thank me later. Appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Oh, Chad, what's the best way to get in touch with you? Let me, let me, let me do that right quick. Let's see here. I'll put my number on here. How about that? Eight. Is it one, three, four, nine? It's coming, guys. I slow typer. There we go. Get in touch with me, guys. Text me. Call me. We'll go from there. Also, you can you can schedule a call with me. Chadfree.com. Up top. There we go. You can schedule a call with me up there too. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Go kill it. See you. Bye.